and welcome to the unit 5 of financial management. You've seen in financial management, you focus around one word funds and you went deep into this word funds. You saw how the funds are to be acquired, how the funds are to be invested, distributed and now we are going to talk about the liquidity of funds. The liquidity of funds is very very important. Is the company able to manage the day to day operations of the, com of the life of the business? Is the company sound day to day point of view? Day to day working is also very important. See, a lot of funds should not be tied up. They should be not excess funds for day to day operations. They should not be inadequate funds as well. So, how do you determine the exact level of funds which you require for the day to day working? And this is what we are going to focus on this session onwards in this unit that is working capital management. It talks about the liquidity of a company and we start with the liquidity decision of finance. You see, there are four decisions in finance. Investment decision, financing decision, dividend dividend decision and liquidity decision. And you saw every decision focused on something. Like in financing decision, we covered cost of capital, capital structure, leverage. When a company wants funds, what do they do? You went to investment decision, you saw capital budgeting. How they find out the various methods to See whether the project is sound or not. The project is financially viable or not. We saw well, if profits are to be distributed, profits how they are to be distributed, should they be distributed or not, and what basis they should be distributed, you saw in the dividend decisions. And in this unit onwards, we'll be talking about the last decision of finance, liquidity point of view that is working capital management. Mainly the first session of this unit will focus on the concepts of working capital. We will be seeing in today's session what is working capital, what are the various components of working capital and types of working capital. We will also see what is the need of adequate working capital, why excess working capital or insufficient working capital is like bad for a company. We will divide in the session today under three topics and by the end of each topic you should be able to explain working capital, describe components and types of working capital, explain the need for working capital.